When I was a teenager, age of 17, I have a privilege to enter to the His Holiness Dalai Lama's monastery in India. I have been studying at Saint Mandala ever since then, so it's a long time. Painstakingly layering grains of colored sand, Losang Sumten is creating the Mandela of compassion or unconditional love over a week in the gallery of the Philadelphia Folklore Project. What I'm doing now in the Philadelphia Folklore Project is the center of the mandala. But if, if let's say we will decide to do a whole mandala of compassion, at least it may going to take us three weeks to complete. When Sumten created a sand mandala at the American Museum of History in New York in 1988, it was the first time the ancient ritual art was seen outside of monasteries. Since then, Sumten has made sand mandalas in museums, galleries, and universities across the U.S. and many parts of the world. These are uniquely designed of many, 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 many years. So passing through artists, to another artist, to another artist, another artist, another artist. So the color has a meaning, shape have a different meanings. So I have a, not my design. It didn't came out of my own idea. Samten was born in Tibet. When he was a young boy, his family escaped to Nepal, fleeing Chinese communist control of his country. They lived in a refugee camp for years. The window of 1959 cross the Mount Everest. It took us to two months to cross. You cannot travel during the day. And uh, so scared and not enough food, not enough clothes. I was age of five. I seen him, I mean, unbelievable dead bodies, people dying without food. I've become a monk age of 11. And when I was in school, refugee school. Some ten left monastic life in 1995 and became the spiritual director at the Tibetan Buddhist Center of Philadelphia. He says the patience of the creative process can lead observers to find calm determination within themselves. When I'm doing this mandala at the universities and in the schools, many kids came to me. When I saw you doing a Zen mandala, that helped me so much to finish my education. Patience. Well, I have a lot of stories. When a San Mandela creation is completed, a dismantling ceremony follows. Samten often invites children to participate in the ceremony. Dismantle have a many different reasons. One thing is our dismantle is a beauty, whatever we see as a beauty on the earth, never be as a last as a beauty. And impermanent, impermanent, comes and goes. I think it's powerful to see something so beautiful created and, and then taken apart and, and to be done in a community with a group of people of different ages. Um, I just think it's, it's, it's an important type of practice. For producer June So, I'm Molly McKitterick, VOA News, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.